The idea of multiple people playing a video game is as old as gaming itself. In its infancy, video games used methods of switching players out to have fun and be more involving for multiple people. So it should come as no surprise of how big online multiplayer has become. In the modern era of gaming, it's common to see players all over the world enjoying the experience of video gaming bliss. This is the story of how gamers went from challenges on their couch to taking on challenges all over the world. This is the story of multiplayer from co-op to the internet. Welcome to Old School Roots, where we dissect retro games and gaming subjects. A show that's half fact, half nostalgia, and all gaming. Join us as we take a trip back to the golden era of gaming. This is, this is Old School Roots. Cooperative gameplay, or abbreviated as co-op, is a feature in video games that allow players to work together as teammates against either AI opponents or other human players. It is distinct from other multiple player modes such as competitive multiplayer versus player or deathmatch. Playing simultaneously allows players to assist one another in many ways. Passing weapons, items, healing aids, provide covering fire, and perform cooperative maneuvers such as boosting a teammate up and over obstacles. In its most simple form, cooperative gameplay modifies the single player mode of a game, allowing additional players and may increase the difficulty level to compensate for those additional players. Early generation home consoles typically did not offer co-op options due to technical limitations which hindered the increased graphics required for simultaneous co-op play. Though consoles from the second generation of video games onward typically had controller ports for two-player games, most systems did not have the computing or graphical power for simultaneous play, leading most games that built two-player gameplay as a feature to merely be the single-player game with alternating players. Co-op gaming can operate either locally, with players sharing input devices, using multiple controllers connected to a single console, or over a network, with co-op players joining an existing game running on a game server via a local area network or wide area networks. Due to the complexity of video game coding, co-op games rarely allow network players and local players to mix. Exceptions do exist, however, such as Mario Kart for the Wii or Call of Duty Black Ops, which allows two players from the same console to play with others online. Many video games support split-screen displays in order to show two or more players in different regions of the same game. Split-screen displays would usually split the main screen into either two or four sub-regions so that two to four players can roam freely within the gaming world. A multiplayer online game is a multiplayer video game which can be played via the game server over the internet with other players around the world. These games create a playing arena for the purpose of single game or multiple rounds. The idea of multiple players on a game has evolved in quite an impressive way. As pointed out earlier, the idea of two players was relegated to gamers switching or taking turns. With the advent of the NES and Master Systems, things began to change. While not very sophisticated, many games started to offer two-player simultaneous play. Inviting a friend over or letting that annoying sibling join in soon became either a joy or a painful reality. Co-op at its heart is the idea of sharing an experience with one or more gamers. With that idea, things went from sharing a screen to splitting screens. Famous split-screen games like GoldenEye for the N64 did a superb job 
of this while other games made it painful. The idea of jumping in and out of a game came by the way of games like Secret of Mana, where a player could join in and leave at any time they felt. Moreover, Toe Jam and Earl for the Sega Genesis did both on-screen sharing and split-screen on the fly. Video game concepts of multiplayer changed when the internet reared its monstrous head. Where the joy of inviting someone over to play was the norm, gamers seemed to relish in the fact that now they need not leave their homes. The pros to playing games in the same home include no lagging connection, the excitement of teasing each other, and no harassment from strangers. The pros for online play include our friend may not always live nearby, discovering challenging players from around the world, being able to easily find gamers who like the same game as you. Both areas have their cons, but of the two it can hardly be argued that having a fellow gamer beside you in the room is inferior. Sports and fighting games change dramatically when a fellow gamer is there in person. Online gaming also presents a slew of unpleasurable and dangerous things. Many gamers can attest to finding loud, obnoxious, and sometimes racially charged people online. Other woes may include the occasional young gamer who has the squeaky and annoying voice. These things can greatly diminish the multiplayer experience. With all that being said and done, multiplayer may have evolved into a global phenomenon, but at its heart, it's still about having fun with others who share a player's passion for gaming. One of the few areas that has changed but not ruined the experience of being a gamer online, multiplayer has paved the way for some memorable times. The good thing is, in-house co-op still remains a strong option for many gamers. At the end of the proverbial day, gaming, whether it's local or all over the world, still offers the same fun, share-based, exhilarating times that it did way back in its infancy. That's it for this episode of Old School Rules. Join us here at Gaming So Spectacular next time as we cover the nostalgia of NFL 2K5 football. Thanks for watching everybody, and as usual, if you can't be good, be good at it. Hey everyone, if you like this episode, check out more episodes on Gaming So Spectacular and be back here every other week for more episodes of Old School Rules.